It's a green for me. It's a green for me. These trousers here. Oh my gosh. Like look at the look look at this. Are you mad? Everybody stopped me in the street. The girls were grilling. Hello there people and welcome back to my channel. Summer is summering and I am about to do a video showing you all my fashion faves and purchases for the season ahead. Now, I have not done one of these for a long time because I wasn't that inspired about fashion for a while and I actually went on a spending ban where I didn't buy anything. And the lessons that I learned was, I like making purchases, I like to find clothing and pieces. They are an extension of my personality. And you know, style is something that is expressive. It gives you zhuzh and fun and fire. And like, it's a nice thing to do, like honestly, if we were to live in a world of people wearing a uniform and black and white, it would be boring. It would be dry and it would be boring. And I love fashion and I love clothes and I love shoes and I love bags. And this is for you guys who want to enjoy that as well. Life is about the balance, you know? <laughs> Today isn't about balance though. I've spent a lot of money on basically refreshing my entire wardrobe for the season ahead. And I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to go into shoes. I love Lueve. Um, the brand is so fun. It's so creative. It's a Spanish brand and um, I have met someone in the store who I love and he sent me a message he's like girl oh oh my god I didn't know how much the shoes were oh my god the shoes are more expensive than I thought they were <laughs> oh god I didn't know how much the shoes were but I feel like these are an art piece and I feel like they're a collector's piece and um, they, uh, Lueve design these different types of shoes all the time. Um, but these ones, he actually showed me in the catalog and he told me that it was gonna come out. And these shoes look like this. Now from the front, it looks like a classic black sandal, but from the side, it's giving wow, it's giving fire, it's giving flower, it's giving shine, it's giving personality. And I just love it. The fit is really, really nice as well. But these shoes, I just was like, you know what? It's not just about the shoe and the wearing. It's about the fact that they're an art piece that I actually think are so fun. And I think by taking my shopping break, I was like, um, I just want to enjoy fashion. I want to enjoy clothing. I like the form of expression. I like the fact that people stop me and go, where are they? where's that from? Like, where's that from? I have to show you a pair of trousers that I bought that literally a girl stopped me opened the link and bought it on the spot because she loved them. So next up, I went to Valentino and I don't know if I've been influenced, but I saw this on the on my Teresa and I know that when I want something, like I will think about it and then my heart will kind of stop. It will be like, <sighs> like it will have a feeling. And I saw this on the website, I scrolled past on New In and this came up and I was like, oh, my heart like felt that feeling and I knew I had to have it. And I actually waited three weeks before getting it. Cause I know that we live in a world where we feel panicked, like stuff is gonna sell out. But I got this from the store instead and it is this Valentino purse. Just look at the beauty of this. It is shimmering, it is shining, it is down Monty, it is blinging, it is fabulous, and I love it. I am just like in awe. And slowly but slowly, I'm starting to really like Valentino. It is more maximalist, and I feel like like I actually wanna be more maximalist when it comes to my style, like just do a lot more. Everyone's been so minimalist for a long time that it's nice to just enjoy stuff that just shines and blings and comes out. I don't like to be precious about bags. I don't like a bag that I can't fling and throw around that I feel like I have to be like, oh my God, my bag, my bag. I hate that because this feels sturdy. I need a sturdy bag because I am very like chaotic and clumsy with stuff. So I need stuff that feels like it can stand the test of time and this is giving that but also it's giving heliganza as well i do have more shoes but i'm going to show you some outfits as well so next up i have a few more affordable items from a brand called urban revivo i was not that familiar with urban revivo but they did reach out to me and i picked a few pieces and i was shocked by the pieces that came through they were absolutely amazing firstly i have this set which is giving it's giving um chanel it's giving real estate expert. It's giving everything, I love it. It's a two piece set. I put this on and everybody was complimenting me on this. It is really good material. It's really thick, but also breathable. I was shocked by how nice this was. So here is this look from Urban Revival. I'm telling you, it's giving 
estate agent, it's giving corporate, it's giving Chanel, but I really love how this set looks. It has these pearl buttons here, and the skirt's actually a little bit longer, but I rolled it up. I just think it's so fabulous. Next up, oh my gosh, this is my summer in Dubai, summer in Abu Dhabi dress. The green on this dress is something else. Like, I was shocked by how nice and amazing and gorgeous this was. But this is a silk type dress. It's stunning, the color is stunning. I live for color, I love color, and this on, died i died i died i told you the color of this dress is stunning green just needs to stay in forever because i love it this is this kind of silky cow neck dress in this like fluoro green along with the green bag also from urban revivo i just think this hit and is perfect for summer like oh and the fact that it's affordable is what slays, love it. If you guys don't know, green is my favorite color. I love green on my skin. This is another dress, which is, I'm gonna be honest, it's really, um, it really reminds me of my Pat and Boa dress, also in green, which is like a silky satin. This is just so gorgeous on, it's a great fit, wrap around, nice and modest if you're someone who wants to cover up a little bit more, but also have that kind of silky look and that silky effect. This dress on, fire. I basically picked up a lot of different dresses from them because they had so many options. And they have these dresses that are all in this kind of cow neck style. This one is also in the blue. It's got this ruching detail and the leg is showing, it's giving a leg. I love how this looks on. I told you, it's all about the cow neck and the split leg. This dress I absolutely love. Blue isn't something I wear all the time, but no, this one is really, it's really, really nice. And actually the split doesn't have to be as high. It's all about what you like. And this is more like a cotton material. So really thin and breathable. But yeah, I'm just gonna be a dress girl all summer. Actually, wait until you see my other pieces. And then this one is like a cottage core floral pattern dress, which was not my normal style, but on, I was like, yes, this is what I would wear to a picnic like nowadays. Very different for me. I'm not always into pattern, but I said this year is about the maximalist as well. So we're gonna give some floral, but what I like is this is iron free. So if you take this on holiday, like it, it won't crease in the bag. It's made of the material that doesn't crease. This is giving gorgeous. I'll show you the print up close. This is what it looks like. And you can see this neck detail here, fire. And then I picked up this dress here. I'm just gonna show you it on. When it's on, it explains itself. So this dress here, it's a little bit risque. It has this kind of open detail down the side here. You can kind of adjust it as you want, but you won't be able to wear underwear with it. But I kind of like this as like a little bodycon evening dress if this is the kind of thing you are into. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you my items which are a little bit more on the luxury side, a little bit more expensive, but worth it. Firstly, I have to show you my white suit from Magda Bertram, I believe how you, that's how you pronounce it. This is someone who I'm in love with. I've actually fallen in love. I have to show you these silky pants on. I got the jacket, the cropped blazer in Selfridges and they did not have the trousers. You have to size down two sizes for these because they're actually really big. But the fit on this will blow your mind. These are the most gorgeous pants I've ever seen on. And then I bought some new shoes in the sale on Netta Porter. The sales right now slap. And I've been wanting to update my shoe collection. These shoes here are in my favorite color. It's the green for me. It's the green for me. It's the green for me. Yes. Look at the shoe, Dem. And I'm gonna tell you how I was able to get these shoes for the 200 quid, and I think they're like a grand normally because they are in a size nine. They are in a man size nine because I have big bloody feet. My feet are huge, but they are worth it and I love it. All right, so here is this set on. I'm literally mortified because I just touched up my lips and put makeup on this silk. What the heck am I going to do? But I'm absolutely in love with this set. I've got my new green shoes on. They are shining. I'm giving you elf phenomenal finest here. And I'm absolutely in love. Look at this. On the, si on the silk. On the silk. You know, my mum used to say certain people shouldn't wear white. And I was in that category. 
but I've just done this to myself. Anyway, the pants as well, they are still a bit big and this is me two sizes too small. I just love the pants because I feel like they're an excellent fit, they're an excellent pair of trousers. I just need to get them slightly tailored, a little bit smaller for me and just get someone to kind of do it up. But the whole vibe is amazing. Now I wanna know in the comments, would you wear this to a wedding? I love wearing whites and creams to weddings, but it really depends on the kind of people you're with. So let me know in the comments. These trousers here are, oh my gosh. I've already worn these. I wore this whole outfit out already. Um, this is from Netta Porter. These trousers are from the Attico. Everybody stopped me in the street. The girls were grilling. And this is when you realize I dress for other women because like, the guys, my husband hates these. And you know when a man hates something, it's a good sign. He's like, what are those? They look too big. I'm like, yes, they're meant to look too big. Um, these are from the Attico. They are phenomenal. Funny enough, I tried them on in Selfridges. Um, the size there was too big. And then I went hunting around to find a pair and I ended up getting these on Farfetch. I can't lie, the waist is pretty big but I know that these are such a good pair of jeans. I'm just gonna go to a tailor to kind of make the waist a bit smaller. I noticed that I do need to kind of get a bit more customization and I can wear them like this or I can wear them super low if I want to as well. I just don't like wearing them super low, but I do think they look amazing. Like, oh my gosh. And then this is actually a swim top from a brand that I found on Netta Porter that was on sale and it was actually a really good price and I bought a black dress from them as well. Okay, so this dress, she's in her gold era. It's Paco Robin. It's a t-shirt dress with a split detail here. I just thought this was so fun. I just want you guys to see the kind of metallic, silver, goldy detail along with this ruching detail here. Stunning. I cannot lie, I'm excited to be in my over the top era when it comes to textures and fabrics and colors. And my gold split detail dress, yeah, it's the one, it's here. Okay, so more accessories and other items here. I bought these glasses. These are super on trend and I love them. I've seen the metallic ones all over Pinterest and stuff, but I was like, you know what? Metallic glasses is not wearable for me, especially because I like other colors and stuff, but the black style of these Prada runway glasses, I was like, this is right up my street. As soon as I saw them, I bagged them. I believe I got these on my Teresa as well. And like, I just love sunglasses. I actually bought another pair as well, I can't lie. I'm living my space age dreams, I'm being extra and I'm living for it. Sticking with the accessories, I got this little Fendi bag as well. This is like the really small size. Um, I love the big version of this bag as well, but I was like, I'm really not gonna wear it. But this, I feel like goes with literally every single outfit. It. And the bigger version is a very trendy bag. Whereas this, I'm like, you know what? Whenever it's a night out, I would just bring this out trendy or not trendy. It's just a really nice, small, light colored bag to carry anywhere. And the little detailing with the Fendi on it is actually very, very nice. I really like this. The shoes are also Giovanni Rossi. And these are a silvery metallic. I only have one silvery metallic pair of shoes. They are from Jimmy Choo. Um, and the style of them doesn't always go with everything. But I noticed that I regularly want to pull out silver shoes. So I was like, you know what? I love these. I love the wrap detail and everything. I think they look crazy, fun, exciting. You can wear them with like, you know, warm colors as well i realized silver shoes go with everything so this is a great pair and then i believe these heels were in the sale as well these are from lv i don't know how to say the name of this brand l lv milano and i don't know a lot about this brand but i do know that i have another pair of shoes that are stunning like design gorgeous fabulous beautiful darling fabulous from this brand and i saw these and i just thought these are so gorgeous just look at the heel detail on it look at the heel thickness and look at this little detail here i just love stuff like this and i don't think you can go wrong with a little black patent like strap like this it's just a great gorgeous gorgeous shoe that i know i'm going to wear now to be fair now that i have the low av ones do i need these yes i do i do two things i have to show you on this celine top these Magda pants and this set from um, Frankie London. It bangs, I'm gonna show you all on. Oh, 
as I wear this, I'm just in love. I feel like I'm channeling the energy I want to channel. You might have actually seen my picture on Instagram, but no, like the vibe of this is literally the vibe I am being. Like, you know when you're like the woman you want to become? This is it. This is giving me south of France. It's giving me summer in Europe. It's giving me everything I love. It's like grown and sexy, basically. It's not even sexy, it's just grown. Oh, I just love it, I love it. It's so fun to me, it's so fun. You can see the smile on my face and how much I'm enjoying getting dressed up because I literally felt like a big toe when I didn't go shopping. I can't lie. So this is this look and obviously the pants I can wear with a shirt. I can wear it with so many different things. It's got this quilt style. Magda is just phenomenal. And then the top, I feel like is really great for summer to wear with shorts and stuff. So the items that I'm buying now, like this is gonna cover me for the next like three months. Like we are not buying anything else, darlings. We are not. This is my definition of a smart buy. I haven't bought this for high summer. I bought this for autumn is coming. The Frankie shop, the Frankie shop. Oh my God, I, I've just, maybe I'm late, maybe I'm late but I have fallen in love with the brand. Look at this set. Are you actually out of your goddamn minds? This is a cross detailed waistcoat along with the trousers, which are super smart. Let me do it up so you guys can see this. You can do it up, but you can also wear it loose, which I really love as well, but I'll show you it up. Now, I can't lie, it is polyester. It's, it's so well done, it's so well made. The shape is phenomenal. And literally, it's kind of like a little bit androgynous, which I really, really like. But the quality is, woo. and the price is pretty good as well, to be fair. It's this beautiful play on like men's tailoring. And it just, it's just stunning. Like, I love the fit of the trousers. I feel like I'm really obsessed with trousers like this now. I don't know if they call it like the granddad shape. And it's got the pleating details here. And the waist is wasting. This waist is phenomenal i love the fit of the trousers at the back i love that you can wear this with heels or like sandals like this it depends on your style and it's just a bloody vibe like look at the look look at this no look when my hands are in my pocket are you mad are you mad so i love it I feel like a boss babe in this. The Frankie shop, yes. It might be a place that I'm going to regularly. And actually, I picked up this jacket from the same brand. I picked it up on a sale on my Teresa because I love a good trench coat come autumn. I know this is meant to be like my fashion for summer, whatever, but smart buyers know when to buy stuff out of season because I know I'm gonna want this oversized jacket like, I, I can't, I, I just can't wait to wear it. Trust me, you're gonna see me in this suit. So here we have this little fun number. It's also from a more affordable brand, Club L. To be fair, I cannot move in this right now. I mean, I got a size eight and the eight is not working for me because there is no stretch in this. But I do think it's really fun and flirty. You can see the detail on this dress which is actually really, really, really nice. It's actually pretty fun. So yeah, this is one that's quite fun. It's too small for me, but I do like the idea of it and I love the sleeve. When Patricia said maximalist, she meant it. It's giving fur, feathers, sequins and strappy. It's doing all too much in one little dress and I'm actually loving it. I need to darken it again so you can just see the details of this dress. You can see what this looks like, how gorgeous it looks, how the light reflects on everything. It's flawless. Like, look at it. Honestly, it's so much fun. It's so much fun for a holiday. I did buy this in the neutral as well. And the neutral is one size smaller, but I just couldn't decide which one I actually want to wear or have. So let me know in the comments which one you think is a good one. Um, but this one's slightly smaller and fits differently, but it's just so fun and I love it, I love it. So I wanted to show you this one. I haven't decided if I'm keeping it, which is it why it has this label on it, but it kind of is giving me prom dress, which is why I'm like, I don't love it. But I feel like when I'm abroad and like have a tan and have a long skirt on, that this is just gonna hit. Something about coal, bolt, blue that just goes bang, that I just love, love, love. So let me know what you guys think of this one. I love the shape, but it is giving prom, no? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? But it's nice. I think in Abu Dhabi, but yeah, I think, oh, 
you know what I really like this I like this this is just for the this is just for the shot versus like this is like supersonically my style and as the sun is setting and it's getting dark in here I have to give you my last piece which is my favorite piece look at this top it is from Nanushka I love the pattern I love this situation here it's basically like a cross button shirt it's um crop but not too cropped Everything about it is just so me, so fun, so enjoyable and stylish. And I know that this is the type of top that I can wear with jeans, trousers for going out for something smart. I can wear skirts with it. I can wear black with it. It's just very versatile, but extra at the same time. This piece here, I love it. And I think it's the perfect piece to end with. Honestly, I enjoyed my shopping break. But what I enjoyed is having extra cash to splash on like all these goodies now. And I think that it's really important to take a break once in a while, but also then like develop your personal style, have fun and life is about the balance because you need to enjoy it as well. Everything I have will be linked in the description bar below. If I can find it, I'm linking it for y'all. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you all later. Bye.